Smile and learn. Hello, my wizard friend. What are you doing? Can I help you? Hello there. Have you seen how many wands I've got here? My friends went to the playground, and I'm trying to count them, but there are so many of them I can't figure out how. I know an easy way to count all these wands. Do you want me to show you how to multiply? Wizard, my friend. Together, we're going to count all these magic wands thanks to the math operation of multiplication. Multiplying is like adding the same number several times. It's a math operation you're going to be doing a lot day after day. It's easy peasy. You'll see. As you can see, there are four hats and three wands into each one of them. In what way could we work out how many wands there are all together? We can try two ways, adding up or multiplying. Meaning we can calculate it like this. Three wands plus three more wands plus three more plus three more or three wands by four hats. Both ways will give us the same result, the number 12. So to multiply is to add up several times the same numbers, right? That's it. Let's look at another example. Imagine you need to buy three toads for your magic potions class. If each toad costs two coins, how many coins do you need to buy three of them? It's very simple. We can add up this way. Two coins plus two coins plus two coins, which equals six coins. Or we can multiply. Three toads by two coins each, which equals six coins. Meaning three toads cost six coins. Do you see how fast you can count now that you know how to multiply? I do. It's incredible. My friends are going to be amazed. And how do you call these multiplication numbers? You mean the parts of multiplication? The numbers to be multiplied are called factors. And the answer is the product. It's also important for you to know that the order in which we multiply the factors is not significant, because even if we switched that order, we'd still get the same result. Let's see how this works. With this example, 3 by 5, which is the same as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, equals 15. And 5 by 3, which is the same as 5 plus 5 plus 5, equals 15. This means that the result of multiplying 3 by 5 is the same as multiplying 5 by 3, 15. We call this the commutative property of multiplication, and it means that the order of factors does not change the product. It's that easy? What an amazing trick! Now you know how to multiply. You'll be surprised how often you're going to be doing this math operation. Now, if you learn the multiplication tables, you'd be unbeatable. Good morning, baboon, my friend. I see you're very concentrated, thinking about something. Can I help you with anything? Hi there. My friends and I are hungry. And look how many bananas I've got. The problem is that I would like to give the same number of bananas to each one of them, and I don't know how to do it. I don't want my friends to be mad at me. So, what you want to do is to share out in equal parts this quantity of bananas, right? Yes, that's it. Well, this is called dividing. To divide is to split a whole into equal parts. Let's see how we can share out these nine bananas among three monkeys. Let's start handing out the bananas one by one. One for the brown monkey, one for the gray monkey, and one for you. Let's do another round. One for the brown monkey, one for the gray monkey, and one for you. Come on, there are only a few left to go. One for the brown monkey, one for the gray monkey, and one for you. Done! We've shared out all bananas. 
How many bananas does each monkey have now? We have three bananas each. That was a great sharing out. The math operation we did was nine bananas by three monkeys. This equals three bananas for each monkey. Thank you for helping me. My friends are really happy. Snack time! Here's another friend who came over for dinner. He brought eight mangoes. They look so yummy. Now, you are four monkeys, and there are eight mangoes. What should we do so that each monkey gets the same number of mangoes? Easy peasy. We start sharing them out like we did before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now look, each monkey friend has two mangoes. The math operation we did was eight mangoes by four monkeys, which equals two mangoes for each monkey. Let's see if you understood. Here's a challenge for you. You have six balls, and you need to divide them among three monkeys. How many balls should you give to each monkey? You have 10 seconds to think about it. That's it. If you shared out six balls among three monkeys, you'd give each monkey two balls. Six by three is two. Now you know what division is. Do you realize that little by little you're becoming a math expert? Keep up the good work! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.